Welcome to Morning Prayer. I'm Phil Manson. I remember the day she took hold of me, grabbed my heart. I went to her dorm, had her paid. We went to the barn at Mount, Ver at Mount Vernon Nazarene University and we shared a plate of french fries. After that, we walked around campus and then we sat under the eternal flame, which was, at that time, there was a gas shortage and it was known as the occasional flame. We kissed. And a couple of years later, I took hold of Kathy. And a couple of weeks ago, we just celebrated 43 years of marriage. Paul's goal in life was Christ. And he says in Philippians 3.12, not that I have already obtained all this or have already arrived at my goal, but I press on to take hold of that for which Christ Jesus took hold of me. Paul remembers the day some 30 years earlier on the road to Damascus when the risen Christ took hold of him. Paul was on his way to arrest and persecute Christians when instead, he was arrested by the bright light of Christ and drafted wholeheartedly into the service of the king. Paul pressing on and striving to capture Christ at the end of his life is only possible because Christ first captured his heart. This upward call originated not with Paul, but with God, and it's the same for all of us. Os Grinnis, in his book, The Call, said, We cannot find God without God. We cannot reach God without God. We cannot satisfy God without God, which is another way of saying that our seeking will always fail, fall short unless God's grace initiates the search, and unless God's call draws us to him and completes the search. That's a marriage. When Christ has taken hold of us, then our life pursuit becomes all about conducting ourselves in a manner worthy of the gospel in order to somehow take hold of him at the end time resurrection of what the Bible calls the married supper of the Lamb. Let's pray together. So Father, you ignited the flame that started our journey with Christ. Your Holy Spirit captured our heart, convincing us of our need for you. And for many of us, we have responded in faith we know that there have been times due to distractions or disobedience or discouragement when our flame died down, when it's been occasional, even just flickering embers. Lord, through the enabling power of your Holy Spirit, I ask that you fan into full flame the gift of God, for you have not given us a spirit that makes us timid, but a spirit who gives us power and love and self-discipline for the journey. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.